Hey guys, I'm back for another video and welcome to another channel update. It's been a long time since I've done one of these guys. And this is like my fifth attempt at recording this because I don't know, I'm just awkward today. I can't string sentences together, but I'll try my best for this one. So, a lot of things are gonna change in the channel very soon. And you're probably like, why? Well, for those of you that don't know, I'm a high school senior and being April, it's very close to the end of the school year. So in around two and a half months, I'm gonna be set free to go and make videos for a couple months over the summer, and then I'm going off to college for another five years. So that's definitely going to have an effect on the channel. So if you guys saw the last update video, I was explaining how one of my big goals was getting into Rochester Institute of Technology, and after many trials and tribulations, endless testing, and even more endless financial aid forms, <laughs> I finally managed to get myself into RIT. I got accepted after getting a 32 on the ACT and submitting a whole bunch of other things in the application, such as being a YouTuber, programming my own game, getting Eagle Scout, and Black Belt. So I feel like that's a very strong resume right there. So anyway, I got in and I'm going for computer science for a bachelor's degree, which is actually five years over the standard four because as a part of RIT's curriculum, you have to take 11 months of co-op, which is fine because I might get the opportunity to work somewhere like Google. Just imagine that. I'm technically already working for Google since I'm a YouTube partner, but that'd be really cool to work directly at YouTube. There's some really cool things that are at RIT, including the art building, which you guys are probably like, what, the art building? What's so special about it? I found out on a tour that they have a whole floor dedicated to 3D printing, and every student gets a specified amount of free filament every semester. So, just about anybody, you could be in the business department, and you could just walk by and be like, hey, I want to 3D print this uh, figurine here or whatever. So that would be a really cool set of videos to 3D print some Minecraft stuff or maybe even my YouTube logo. That would be really cool just to have that in like a solid plastic block and then just put it on my desk. I will be meeting a lot of like-minded people there as well because the difference between high school and college is that you connect with people a lot more because you're there for the same reason. You're trying to get, especially if the dorms are separated by major like they are in RIT. So, I'm going to call them my neighbors even though they're like in the room next door. But all my neighbors, or other students, are computer science nerds just like me. <laughs> so, I, I could just walk up to somebody and start talking programming or whatever. And they'll just be like, yeah, you know, you could do blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And then we could just get in a conversation about like programming or graphic art or YouTube or video editing, there'd be a lot of potential collaboration opportunities, which would be desperately needed actually, because right now there's only a good four people that I consistently record with. Although there's a lot of good stuff coming out of this, especially in the realm of game development. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm developing my own game. I'll leave a card in the top right corner if you wanna go check it out, but yeah. I am developing my own game, so hopefully I can find some people that are into graphic art or music, because then we could collaborate to finish my game, because I think I've got the programming down, but I am by no means an artist, so that would be absolutely amazing to get that help to actually release my game. Now among all these benefits, there are a couple issues, one of which being that for my freshman year, I am required to stay in a dorm. This means I have even less space to work with, basically half the space I have now, and I have to share it with somebody. So just imagine a dorm as half the size of your standard hotel room. So that's really small, but they have room for a desk and a bed and a computer obviously, because again, it's Rochester Institute of Technology and the, emphasizing the technology, that they'll let you bring your own computers, which is obviously needed. So, I'm gonna have to find time to record, or I'm just gonna have to find a roommate that's cool with me recording almost every day. 
because I could imagine that'd get pretty annoying if you just want to hang out or you just want to mind your own business and your roommate's just yelling in a microphone constantly. <laughs> it might be difficult to get recording in, but all the post stuff like editing and uploading and making thumbnails and all that, that's fine. I can, I have plenty of free time, which is another thing about college, is that even with study time worked into the schedule, I have five hours to do whatever the heck I want every single day. So, I'll definitely be able to make better quality videos, but I'm not sure about recording time. So, that's just something I'm going to have to figure out as I move on. So, something somewhat unrelated to all of this is the finances of it, which surprised me a lot. Now, again, if you watch the last update video, which I will be linking in the description because it explains a lot of this, but I've been doing everything I can to get to go to this college now, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of cash or credit or any of that, so it was pretty important to me to get as much financial aid as possible, and I'm going to be honest, I think I did. I, I honestly don't think I could have gotten a penny more from RIT, because after everything I've done, I got my full tuition paid for in financial aid for several reasons, one of which being academic, another being out of school activities, like they had grants, and another reason is just the fact that I can't pay anything. So that's been taken care of, but unfortunately that doesn't completely get rid of costs because tuition only involves the classes. So room and board and food are a different story. So. That's still left over, which comes to a lot of money, actually. I'm not going to get into any specifics, but I can say something pretty cool. And it's that the channel generates one-fourth of what I will end up owing to RIT in the end of all this. So that's pretty awesome that a fourth of it, at the current rate it is right now, will be able to cover that. And I predict that over the course of those five years... That the channel could grow to such a size where it might be able to cover the whole thing and then after the five years are over then I'm finally free to hopefully by that point be developing games and recording YouTube videos that is my that's my end all right there that's what I want to do for my life I basically want to entertain others by making great games and great YouTube videos so one thing that I didn't really get into detail on in the last video was my Eagle Scout rank. Now at that point it wasn't official because I had just sent in the Eagle Scout papers and I was basically awaiting the board of scouting's approval. So all that happened. All of it is over, even the ceremony and everything. So now it is official. I am an Eagle Scout. But one thing I found absolutely hilarious is among all of the awards you get, there's one written personally by the U.S. Senate, which is actually really cool. But in that letter, they mention the YouTube channel. I'll have a screenshot of the document on screen just to prove this to you guys. So yeah, the word 30 virus has come up in the United States Senate, which is kind of scary. But it's also pretty amazing at the same time. So that's it for this quick update, guys. I hope you liked it. And I hope you guys liked the gameplay. I absolutely wrecked the enemy team. Just came out of nowhere and just went crazy. So anyway, that's it. So again, if you want to check out the game I'm developing, I'll leave a card in the top right to link it to the most recent update video. It's definitely a project I want to go forward with and make an actual game that will go up on Steam. But I need some help as well, which is why I'll be making a Kickstarter very soon for that. And also, check out my social media. I have a Twitter, a Facebook. I even have my own subreddit, surprisingly. There's only like five people on it right now, but you know, why not? So anyway, that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.